Well, when it comes to hooking up batteries in your RV, you can hook them up in parallel for 12 volt or series to get 24 volt or 48 volt, whatever. But when we talk about parallel hookups, well, there's parallel and then there's parallel. We're going to show you a good way, a better way, and a best way to hook up the batteries in your RV. My reason for using two 100 amp hour batteries here as opposed to a single 200 amp hour battery or 300 or 400 whatever is just the ease of moving the batteries around or moving them in and out of the trailer. And uh, when you hook the batteries up in parallel the way I'm going to show you, they act as one battery. As with any parallel connection, there's always positive to positive, that's this cable here, and negative to negative, that's this cable here. They need to be of equal length, which these are. But when it comes to putting power into those batteries, like from your solar system, and taking power out of those batteries, well, <laughs> that's another story. These batteries are already hooked up in the better configuration. Here you can see this cable here and this cable over here are the solar power coming in. These cables down here and these cables up here are the power going out. They're hooked up crossways so that the power coming in goes through the batteries and not just in one side or the other side. And the power goes out the same way but opposite so that the power is taken evenly from both batteries rather than just from one end. Look at it this way. I could have the power from the solar panels coming in here and here and I could have the power coming out over on this side. Now that is actually okay, that's acceptable. The way I've got it hooked up is a little better, but there's a better way yet, and that's what I want to show you now. I'm going to go ahead and take these batteries out, because I'm going to put my original batteries back in until I use them up, and um, we'll do this step by step. Okay, here's a basic parallel setup. Negative to negative, positive to positive. Now the next step is to hook up the solar power and the load. I could bring the solar power into here. I could also hook the load up onto this side. Charging it from here would make this battery charge a little later than this one. So this battery would always be charging first. And bringing the load into here would make this battery discharge first a little sooner than this battery would. Eventually, they would both discharge the same, I mean, to the same level. You know, you'd get the full capacity out of them, but it would always be charging this battery first and then this battery slightly behind. Okay, now another way to do that would be to bring your solar into here and to take your load off of this side. It doesn't make too much difference to do that, but I've seen that done. The way I had the first two batteries hooked up, though, I brought the solar power into here and into here and I took the load from here and here. Now that's a better way of doing it. It makes the two batteries charge about the same rate and it makes them discharge about the same rate. But now there's a better way we're going to do this. We're going to do this with bus bars. Okay, now I've installed a positive and a negative bus bar. I'm going to hook up to those. Now I've taken both of these batteries I've wired the positives to the positive bus bar, and I've wired the negatives to the negative bus bar. All cables are equal length. These, are, these two are equal, the, the ones that uh, made the batteries parallel, these two are equal. And all of these cables are equal, are equal length that go up to these two bus bars. That's important. So what did this do for us? Well, it makes it so that the load and the solar both get hooked up to these bus bars up here. It makes it so both batteries will charge at the same time and both batteries will discharge at the same time. It's not critical when you only have two batteries like this, but at some point I'm probably going to have four batteries and when I do, then this does become kind of critical. It makes all batteries charge and discharge at the same rate. It also gives you a better place to be hooking up your load and, uh, and your solar coming in. 
Okay, so this is the finished job. I've got the solar that comes in here and over here, and then the uh, power comes out uh, over on this side and over here on this side on the grounds. Batteries are hooked up in the middle. I've got room to put in two more batteries, which I may do at some point. So this is how you hook them up in parallel with bus bars. And uh, once again, remember that all the cables between the batteries and the bus bars have to be equal length, as well as the cables between the batteries for your parallel connection. I'll leave links down below the video to the parts that I used here. And now we'll talk about just a couple things. I know people are going to ask me about what the system is here on this trailer, so we'll go over that. By the way, I was going to use a T-Series fuse here, and I even bought one, but I like being able to turn my inverter, that goes to my inverter, and I just like to be able to turn it off, because if you don't, it's always drawing some power. And this being wintertime in Montana, I just as soon not have something drawing on the batteries. So just in case you're wondering, there's two 300 watt Bouge solar panels on the roof for 600 watts. That comes down to a Bouge RV 60 amp controller. These are two self-heating Bouge 100 amp hour batteries. And then there's a Bouge 2000 watt inverter. I know I'm going to get asked about the uh, cable size that I used on these batteries. First, you have to understand that that depends on what you're, what you're using your batteries for. The heaviest thing that these batteries are running is a coffee pot. So it's number fours on the hooking the batteries together. And it's also number fours that go up to the bus bars. And this system and the system that uh, goes up to the bus bars once again, they kind of parallel each other, so, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be just fine for that. And then, of course, it's uh, number two gauge that's going up to my inverter. And now you can see what this is all about. <laughs> it's so I have redundant systems here. I've got 110 coming off the two batteries below the shelf, and then I've got 110 from the uh, Blue Eddy AC200L here on the shelf. Well, this is how I did my parallel battery system on my trailer. Do some research before you uh, make your own system. Figure out exactly what you want, how many batteries you want. Figure out if you want to do them in series or parallel. This is just how I did mine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around. We'd like to take a moment to say thank you to each of you who have donated to our channel, and especially to our Patreon supporters. If you would like to contribute to our channel through Patreon, you can click on the link below.